hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add sprinting or you can say running to our player and adding sprint to the player is fairly simple but first of all right here let's create a public float by the name of current player speed okay and let's just equal this to for now as 0f and then right here in the player move okay what we want to do we want the current player speed to be equals to the player speed okay so as you can see our player speed is 1.9 f and the current player speed is 0 f so whenever we try to move our player then this current player speed will be equals to the player speed which is 1.9 f so whenever we move the current player speed will be 1.9 f okay we just need that need this current player speed for some purpose but you will understand this in the future so for now just do as i did right here okay so now after this let's create a public float again let's name this as player sprint this will be equals to 3f and let's create another public float by the name of current player sprint okay and let's name this equal this to 0f and now for sprinting let's just simply copy this function and after this jump paste it and just change its name to player sprint and now in here instead of the player speed we will call the player sprint float variable and then the current player sprint will be equals to the player sprint and that's it it is now as you can see fairly simple to add player sprint in the game and guys after this player sprint we need some other function for the player hit damage and also for the player die but that is for the future for now we will just leave a comment right here so that we know in the later videos for now let's just save this and guys actually change this player sprint to for example sprint okay because the player sprint variable and the function name will be then similar and it will give out an error so just change the name and also make sure that right here in the update you call the sprint function okay so make sure to do these changes and then if you come back to unity as you can see we have these variables set up now if you play the game you will notice that when the player is stop as you can see the current player speed is zero but now if you move as you can see the player move but as you notice that now on the WASD or the arrow keys our player can also walk and run we don't want that we want the player to run on some specific button okay for example the sprint button so first of all let's just create a sprint button if we go inside edit project settings and in the inside the input manager if we see this fire 3 which is the left shift okay in most of the game you will notice that on the left shift our player sprint so we want to be similar in this game as well so right here just change the name of this button to sprint and it is as you can see set to left shift okay and remove this mouse too because we don't want the player to sprint on the right button of the mouse we just want the player to sprint on the left shift that's it okay make sure to do that now let's just close that and right here let's add a if condition and inside this if condition we will say that if input dot get button okay for, for this time we will use the get button and if that button is the sprint button okay and also if the player is holding down the 
w button as well so the key code will be dot w for if the player is pressing down the up arrow button so up arrow and also if the player is on the surface because we don't want the player to move in the air so that's why we will use and on surface check as well so if that is the case then what we will do we will simply make the player sprint so let me move this a little bit forward and right here let's close that bracket of the if condition now if we save this get back to unity now let's play the game you will notice that when we are simply moving as you can see the current player speed is now set to 1.9 f okay we need to update this so whenever we are not moving we want this current player speed to be zero okay but that is for the future for now let's we'll just leave it as it is now if we try to hold down the shift button and press the w key now as you can see our player is sprinting so now as you can see our player can walk and can also sprint as you can see he's walking now he's sprinting and now the player can jump and rotate around in the map so the next thing which is remaining is the animations so in the next video we will add animations to our player so catch you guys in the next video